With no indication how long this financial pinch will last, it has many Americans questioning whether the Fed and the Biden administration will be able to get inflation under control. Here's Brandon Arnold with the National Taxpayers Union. Well, I think there's a lot of frustration out there amongst Americans, and you see that in Biden's poll numbers, which are quite poor, but you see that in broader concerns about the economy right now, and that's really unfortunate. People are scared. People haven't experienced this level of inflation for a long, long time, for decades now, and we're in uncharted territory where even as income increases and paychecks get larger, people are feeling poor because inflation is so out of control. So I think that people feel a little uneasy right now, and that's unfortunate. Well, Brandon, how do folks get ahead of this? What are some things Americans can do right now to get their finances in order? Should they change the way they're saving and spending? Well, I think they need to plan out their expenses for the long term. They need to budget very, very carefully because inflation is not going away anytime soon. Even with these, uh, these actions by the Fed that can slow inflation, we're going to be dealing with inflation for the considerable future. So making sure that you're anticipating higher utility bills, higher gas costs, higher housing costs, higher grocery costs is really, really important and not relying on savings to make extravagant purchases right now. I think now is the time to adopt some level of austerity. By raising the interest rate, the Fed hoping to correct the disproportionate rate of spending. Are there any other avenues out there that the Biden administration can do right now to help lower inflation? Yeah, I think there are a lot of things. Right now, we're looking at an energy crisis of sorts, and increasing domestic energy will go a long way to alleviating prices, as will lower tariffs. Those are taxes on consumers and American businesses. And the biggest thing is really to do no harm. The old Hippocratic oath that doctors implement, right? That means no uh, extravagant public policy proposals, no huge tax and spend proposals that are going to further worsen this problem by spending in, uh, and borrowing far more money than we have to, to, to actually uh, spend uh, in this country right now. Well, today, President Biden called on oil companies demanding that they take immediate action to increase supply and calling them out on their historically high profit margins. Is that enough action from President Biden? I mean, how much control do these companies really have at the pump? Yeah, I mean, the number one thing driving gas prices, of course, is oil prices. And no matter how loudly you yell at oil companies, no matter how much you tax them, which is actually on the table right now, it's not going to lower oil prices. What we need to do is have a domestic energy program. The Department of the Interior should be adopting a five-year program right now as they're required. They're not doing it. Instead, they're just offering up tax credits to go out and buy Teslas and other electric vehicles. That's not going to help Americans right now. We need more oil more natural gas. That's the solution to the problem. Brandon Ardall, thank you for your insight tonight. Thank you.